Hey, th I have to tell you, I know that uh, we don't we don't typically prefer to take pleasure in others p misfortune. But when it comes to Newsmax, I'm taking pleasure. Newsmax, the radical right wing media network, has had a big shakeup in terms of their on air talent. As reported by Radar Online, Greg Kelly and Sean Spicer have been sidelined at Newsmax. And one of the things Newsmax has done is they brought in former Fox News host Greta Van Susteren. Greta Van Susteren had her first episode of the show yesterday. It was a technical disaster that is delightful to me. Oh, but David, oh, sir, you're making fun of people. That is a frickin predator. right? No, there. no, 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 no. This is disastrous for America. The fact that Newsmax has an audience, I'm not saying shut them down. I'm not saying violate their ability. Let them do whatever they want, but I want them to fail. And the technical hilarity that took place yesterday, uh, Greta Van Susteren tried interviewing Chuck Grassley, the Republican senator, and it just wasn't working. Tech disaster after disaster. And I love it. I love every second of it. I admit it. For more ranking member of the Senate Judiciary Committee, Iowa Senator Chuck Grassley joins us. Good evening, Senator. And it has gotten absolutely intolerable for the yeah. American people. These prices, gas, food, everything's going straight up. What can both parties do together? What is the willingness of both parties to do together that we can rescue our economy? Um, you'll have to come through clearer than you have so far. I, I couldn't make out what you're saying. <laughs> I'm, at, I'm asking you, sir, that people are suffering so much from gas prices, food prices. What can Republicans and Democrats, what are they willing to do together and what can they do together to help the economy? Okay. I'm sorry. It's so muffled with it sounds like you're talking in a cave. I just it sounds like my callers and hear anything you've got to <laughs> and, ask me. And, 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 I, and I and I totally understand that, Senator. But this is our first night on air. And as you can imagine, we have some apparently some gremlins in the system um, ch ch trying to get the question off to you. So uh, let, let me ask you a question sort of just generally, sir, is um, he probably can hear general questions better than specific ones. So this is a smart strategy. Do you, have, do you have any sort of thought on food prices? I know you're from a farm state. If, you, if you're still trying to interview me, <laughs> I can't uh, make <laughs> out right, what you're you know, saying. All right. Senator, thank you very much. And uh, we'll give and up. A little bit. Wow. What an explosive interview. Am I a bad person because I love that? I mean, is it, if it, I'll, I'll take the hit. If I'm just a bad person because the show went completely off the rails, I, I will accept that. But I absolutely love that. Um, OK, so that big shakeup at Newsmax, but no shortage of insanity at Newsmax where the guest could hear the interviewer. Let's talk about that next.